Okay, so guys, uh, what you did, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes after sitting down, that bu I'm not, uh, for sure yet, but that buck I've been talking about, it was an eight-pointer for sure, I'm not sure if it's the one I've been talking about, but he walked out on that path right down there, and I got him on a video, actually, on the time-lapse, you can see the buck, uh, I'm thinking, I'm gonna try to figure out if I can slow it down to see how good of a shot it was, I felt pretty good about it, but, uh, we... Manton at him and tried to get him to stop and he didn't stop and then he uh went behind a tree and then came right back out and that's when he stopped we rattled uh and grunted at him we didn't grunt at him but we uh when we sat down because i told you always get on we sat down late we rattled and grunted at him to uh just like cover up our walking in late and that sound and uh sure enough that buck came in he wasn't really uh when, even though we tried to stop him he wasn't stop he didn't really care what we had to say or anything he just uh stopped turned and uh i feel like I made a good shot we're gonna give it about 20 30 minutes maybe go look and then we'll go from there on the tracking and uh hopefully I made a good shot hopefully I knocked him down and uh see y'all hopefully with the deer what's up guys Evan Brown um right now it's like 9 30 I didn't go hunting this morning uh the clips y'all just saw me talking that was last night um I shot at the eight pointer it might have been a nine but pretty sure it's an eight pointer and uh after looking back at the film still really can't tell how good the shot was or anything we looked for blood for a decent amount we're not sure really where i hit him or if i hit him because there were some branches that i could have hit but we're calling in these uh dogs that are really they found my first deer also they're gonna come around lunch today we've let the deer sit overnight so if he's dead he's gonna be dead when we go look for him um i hope i killed him that would be my second buck this year in georgia i'd be done for the year it was really kind of a crazy hunt. Um, it was Friday night. It was we got there late, like thirty minutes later than we should have. We really, and it was kind of just a scout hunt to see if we should hunt there more this week. And I, um, that's basically we just got in there, rattled and grunted to cover up our noise coming in. And he came in there. He was not. He was. He was mad. He knew a buck was in there. He thought a buck was in there. And uh, he was. He was 75, 70, 75 yards. That's. Same uh, box blind that I shot my first buck out of this year. Um, it was a good eight pointer, be my biggest buck. And hopefully, I kill him. Uh, I'll hopefully get the film with him. And if I miss him, I'll be hunting that same blind probably the rest of this week because I still feel like that uh, buck could be in there. I'm not sure if it's the buck I've been talking about and want to shoot, but you never know with these big bucks. Um, realistically, feel like uh, I kind of rushed my shot a little bit, but maybe not. I, I mean, even if I did a little bit, I feel like I still could have killed him. I should have killed him. So hopefully he's out there dead. Um, the feeling you have right now after not knowing if your buck is dead, your biggest one, is, is kind of a crappy one, honestly. Like, you're just like, man, I hope I killed him. hope he's dead out there in the woods. It was legit, the buck. 200 yards that way, back behind our house. So hopefully he's dead back there. Um... And as I said, if he's not, we're gonna keep hunting. Try to get another, try to get my buck. So, hopefully, the next time I'm talking to y'all, I'm either filming a blood trail or I'm filming a buck with it in my hand. So, hope y'all enjoyed this whole segment. Hope y'all enjoyed this whole video. Basically, um, like idea of this whole video was I was gonna be like, because I already did that for. I was gonna show like clips of me hunting and then like throughout the season for this one buck and then have the buck. Or I shoot him at the end. And I actually got a time lapse of it, which isn't great. I'm gonna stop doing time lapses because, like, time lapses are good when the deer are walking around. But buck like that, walk, you see him walk, but you, you have to be looking in the spot where you see him walk, <laughs> runs back, and you can't really see a lot. But so, I'm gonna stop doing time lapses. I'm gonna straight up film. It's the first ever buck I've actually filmed me shooting, and I, I'm kind of proud of that. It's kind of cool to see a buck on camera. But you know, um, hopefully he's dead. Hopefully I killed him. I really hope my season's over because I hope I can find that buck. Well, actually, I haven't shot a doe yet, so I can still hunt some late season does. 
with my uh, bow and try to kill Doe with a bow. I'm gonna keep hearing something, but I think it's just a squirrel, so. Oh, hopefully that buck's dead out there. And hopefully we can find him in a, in a hunt for this buck. Really, really do hope that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little segment. See y'all in a minute. Well, boys and girls, I missed. I may have nicked him, but I, I, I definitely didn't have a fatal shot. So I still have hunting to do because I am... I've not fulfilled my second buck tag, so I'm not sure what the plan is. I'm probably gonna hunt tonight. Probably gonna hunt tomorrow night. Probably gonna hunt tonight after that. Probably gonna hunt in the mornings too. I wanna kill a buck, my second buck, so bad, and I, I had a chance and I missed it. So, just kinda just add to this season, because I've seen two good bucks, and I shot at two good bucks, and I missed one. And I'm pretty upset at the moment. I'm not sure what the plan is for the hunt tonight. And if I do, where and what's gonna happen? So, basically, I guess everybody misses once in a while, and I've had my first real miss for the good buck. So, this sucks really bad. And. That's basically all I have to say, so when you cut this clip out. What's up guys, Evan Brown. I'm right here at the truck. We're about to go in, sit in the same stand I sat at last night. Oh crap, there's a big spider. I'm gonna kill that thing. Okay. Never mind. Okay, sorry. Um So here I got my uh I'm already basically packed up. I got my gun loaded. Everything's ready. Not gun. My gun's not loaded. Gun's ready. About to go hike out. Um, we sit in the same box blind that I saw that eight point yesterday in, and I missed, which sucks so bad. And I'm still kind of upset about it. That's why I'm going to sit in. We're gonna go in around 4:15, 4:20, which is still a little bit kind of late. So when we sit down, we're gonna try to be uh, quiet. And that's why I'm doing this intro here. I'm probably gonna rattle, grunt, do exactly what I did last night. Just try to get in the move. Uh, hopefully, I get this buck. I'm so, ups so upset that I missed that one yesterday. It's like the worst time in the world if you ever missed a buck. And it was your biggest. Like, it was my biggest buck, and I, I just missed. Like, I don't know. I've never really missed a deer before, or five for five until that point. And I missed, so it sucks. It really sucks. But I'm here, go look at one. I'm about to go sit down. Hopefully, I'll kick, kill me a big buck. See y'all in a second. Yeah. Sitting in the blind that I've sat in like eight times this season. I've seen deer almost every time. We kicked up two fawns and does sitting out here eating the corn when we came in. Um, yesterday, as I said earlier, I missed an eight pointer out of this blind. It came out and it was down there in that path about 70 yards. I'm not sure if it's the eight pointer I wanted to shoot, but it was a good one. It would probably be my best. So hopefully either him or another mom come out. We're probably going to grind or rattle. What's up, guys? I just got back um, from that hunt that the, uh, whatever the intro, those two intros are from. I didn't get any footage of the deer, but I did see five. I saw um, when we were walking in, we kicked up two does, uh, two fawns, anyways. They were on the corn pile, and then we got we sat down like 35 minutes into the hunt. We saw a Spike, and he walked the exact same trail that I bucked it, that I shot at yesterday did. And uh, I mean, I, I, put, I pulled up the scope just to practice. Just from yesterday, just getting on the shoulder. I mean, I wasn't gonna shoot a spike because I've already used one of my tags. And then uh, the shooting light ended at 6.04 and we saw two does, at, a doe and a button buck at 6.03. And then when we, uh, we didn't want to just, and then we shot the flashlight at them so they'd run away without knowing like where we were. And we don't want to make this deer, uh, like make the deer smarter and know where they are. So that's why we just shot the flashlight. Um, Basically, that's all that happened tonight. Hopefully, y'all have enjoyed these hunting videos, even though I haven't killed one. I know I've got more footage than I have in the past year, so basically, that's it for this part one of Chasing November, even though I haven't, ch I, I did have an opportunity to kill my second buck in November, and I um I missed, but 
every all good hunters miss is what I'm told. So hopefully that's true. So this is the end of Chasing November.